So my plan here today is to catch a fish and then go to the new property and do my first overnight with a fish. No, 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 moose, 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 no. I wanna show you how I transform this into this. Right? Oh, it is so great up here. I'm on the ridge of our new property in interior Alaska. This is where I've been working on the survival bunker, cleaning it out. You guys have been along for that journey. Gross. That's over. And now the magic can happen. I can envision what can happen up here. This is a, a nice high bench on the property. Nice and flat right here with a good mix of trees. There's spruce, aspen, birch, like it's so beautiful. But it just needs to be cleaned up. And I'm so excited. This is my favorite part of land development is that selective cutting, that getting rid of all the junk, opening it up. It's what I really love to do. First thing I'm gonna do is just do some hand work with my nippers and my little handsaw. Um, Cause I just like the quiet as opposed to the chainsaw. And then I'll get to the heavier stuff. Let's get to it. First thing I'm gonna work on is just opening up a trail for my truck from the road. So I'm gonna do that right now. Then I'll get to work on the ridge, probably tomorrow. Here we go. Oh, that goodness. If you look at these trees around here, these are all black spruce. They're just, just dripping with goodness. Look at that bubble. Look at this stuff. You smell that? Take a good whiff. It's oh, my favorite smell. That and uh, birch bark burning. It's just amazing. I could just like rub it on myself, but then I'd be sticky, so that wouldn't work. Just lovely, lovely. <sighs> okay, I've almost made it to the road. I'm just ready to punch through, but I am done. I am just sweating to death and I've been here Working on this for three, four hours, so I'm done. But I gotta finish tomorrow. I'm just wore out. Oh, I've made good progress. I can get the truck through here, no problem. And I go around the curve up there, and I'm at the bottom of the ridge. Pretty cool. Good oh boy. You ready to go? <laughs> oh, it's not in that tree. Where's the squirrel? <laughs> I'm, I'm out. Peace out. See you tomorrow. Last load. Yay. Okay. Let's drive in. Woohoo. Good. So I'm doing all of this by hand to save my chainsaw blade because I'm needing to get in the dirt right as close to the ground as I can, but it's wearing me out. I've cut so many willows and trees and branches. I've never owned anything silky before. This is the, uh, the F100, just a little folding saw. It's just really sharp and handy but I can pull back the moss and then get deeper in here and get these trees cut 
without wrecking my chainsaw blades. I just got a new chain and uh, I want to keep it nice. I, as soon as you run into the dirt, you're done. You can't sharpen them hardly at all. This thing is just, it's just great. It's good to wear gloves. If you nick yourself with a bow saw or anything like this, you're just, I mean, it's a gash. It's a bloody mess. <laughs> so you gotta be careful. I'm at the bottom of the ridge. Very cool. I get to go up and work up there. Finally. Take a little 10 minute break before I get started. This whole area is what I'm going to clean up. Oh, it's going to be awesome. It's so nice to finally be at this stage. So much work to get here. Beautiful view. So funny. All right, the task up here on this ridge is to get rid of stuff like this willow behind me. Clean this up. Um, take these, these spruce and, and limb them up and get rid of all this junk. Clean up any downed wood that's here. Um, maybe, maybe thin out some of this stuff behind me. So what I'm kind of shooting for is I've got really nice birch trees everywhere. So I want to kind of open this place up to expose the nice birch. There's some aspen. What do you think, moose? And uh, so this will just continue to get opened up just to highlight these beautiful birch and then keep going this way. And of course, uh, expanding my view this way. I didn't really clear a lot in front, just a little bit today. But I'll do more. Good start today. Not bad. Not bad. You guys gotta see what I just found. I'm really baffled. Look at this feather. What bird has a yellow feather in Alaska? That is just very curious. You know I love feathers, so I'm always picking them up and looking for them, but wow. What bird in Alaska has a yellow feather? Do you know? What do you think? Is it a parrot? An Arctic parrot? No, don't eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's an Arctic parrot. It's going in the, it's going in the hat. That is really unique. I'm baffled. Look at this pile. Way taller than I am. It's a massive pile. Oh 
Oh, skeeters are getting bad. No seams are coming out. I've been out here for like six hours and it's just this time of night. You sit still, it just gets brutal. You ready for dinner? Let's go get some chow. So my plan here today is to catch a fish and then go to the new property and do my first overnight with a fish. Come here, I can't leave you on shore. Oh, wet dog. Here we go. Let's go catch a fish. Let's go catch dinner. Lots of beautiful trout in here. Stay, stay. No, no, no. No. Stay. Stay. No, no, oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, no, no, no. Oh. All right, never been fishing with you. Oh, I wish I had a net. Dang, it's a nice fish. I got, I got another one. Stay, stay, no, no moose, stay, stay. No, no, no. Oh, dang. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Okay. All right. You're insane with this fish. I'm going to let it just stay in the water. Oh my gosh. All right. We got to go to shore. <laughs> no, stay. No, no. Oh, crap. How am I going to do this? Moose. All right. No. You're crazy. Okay, come here. Come here. I'm just gonna leave this fish. Oh, I hope it stays on. Gotta get you to the docks. You're an idiot. Come here. Oh my goodness, stay. This is crazy. All right, taking you fishing. Hmm. All right, so I have, <laughs> I have one on my fishing, on my line. I'm, oh, wow, how am I gonna do this? Hold you, hold the rod, paddle to shore. <laughs> I need a way bigger boat. Cause you are a bonehead. Stay. Okay, get out, dude. See it? It's a nice fish. It's what you want to jump out of the boat for. Mm -hmm. Don't go chase that. Well, that was awesome and stupid. <laughs> Moose, you're an absolute goober. He's not quite sure what to think of this thing. <laughs> That's going to be so delicious. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you, Lord, for the fish. Like there was something stuck to the bottom of my foot. It's like, oh, hello. Is there some blood I could take from you? Nope. You got to go back there. I'm just going to pack up and head to the property. She gone. Right, so we're at the property. I really want to eat my fish. It's eight o'clock already. But to do it safely, I have to dig a fire pit and I need to get down to the dirt. Uh, 
problem here is just this deep moss duff and you just cannot safely do a fire. And then I have some rocks to bring up before I can eat my fish. So I'm trying to uh, get to the dirt here. But I really want a fire on this ridge. So more work to be done before I can rest. So there's like this layer of duff. You got to get rid of that. Right down to dirt. Now I brought some rocks from our place in Fairbanks. So I'll go get those. Dragging rocks uphill is not my favorite. I'm ready to sit and relax for once. That's for sure. settled aren't you you're like what are we doing here mom it's getting to be nighttime we're gonna stay the night buddy we're gonna eat our fish too Is going down. What do you think, buddy? Time for fish. Let's get this fire started. Lots of good stuff for fire here. No end of it. Good stuff. Fire in no time. Just about gone. It's gonna go up so quick. Which is good, because I'm ready. Now I get to do some house cleaning with all this stuff I worked on. Beautiful. Worth the effort, right? Yeah. There we go. One of the coolest purchases, and it was spendy, that I made this year has been this Helinox table. Uh, I bought it right before Courtney and I went on the Yukon. And holy cow, it was it's so handy. It's a ridiculously expensive little piece of kit, but uh, it doesn't weigh anything. And I, it's just so handy to have a table when you go places. Back. It's just wonderful. So handy. Oh, time to get a squirrel. Oh, what? I'm get this thermosel going. I'm getting bit up. It's not cool. I'm sweaty. I've got sunblock on. I'm just gross. Oh, I could, I could so use a shower. I'm sweating. And I don't want to add a layer of bug spray. I just don't want to do it. Oh man, is this the one that... 
not sparking. I think so. Oh, I brought the bad one. So I've read that these things, they kind of gum up sometimes, and I think this one has. I'm going to have to take it apart and mess with it. I hear it, but it's not sparking. Okay. Just going to get bit. Gonna do a, an unconventional fish tonight. It's gonna be awesome. I am so ready. Here she is, the beauty. Salt and pepper. Our fire's doing good. I don't want too big of a fire for my fish, just something kind of small. So I'm just gonna let this burn down a bit and then we'll do the fish. All right, so this is my favorite salsa. It is so amazing. Salsa de Rosa, and this is the hot version. That's what we're putting in our fish tonight. It's going to be amazing. We're going to stuff the cavity with butter and salt. Just put it here, and then I'll pinch it in. Pinch it in. Some of this amazing salsa, which has got garlic and tomatoes and onions and I mean, so much goodness. We'll just stuff that cavity. That's awesome. There's our fish package ready to go. It's just right. It's not blazing fire. I want to get this on just so I stop getting bit. Like that. Oh yeah. Holy cow, what a day. It's been a rush. It's beautiful. I'm so happy to be sitting on the ridge with a fire, eating a fresh fish. That's, that's a pretty great ending for this year. Pretty great ending. Pretty good view, huh? It's just gonna get better. I'll open it up more, but it's pretty great. Pretty great. Right, Lucy? Yeah. Sun is still hanging on in the birches back there. That's cool. Beautiful. I cannot wait to get this finished. Next year, it'll be a next year project. It's gonna be so cool up here. So as far as plans, I don't know, maybe a cabin? That would be awesome. I'd love to have a cabin here. Maybe a big tent, a big wall tent or bell tent, all fancied out and just awesome. But now I know there's space up here to do it, which is just great. Plus the bunker, you know, that could be something. I'm not sure I necessarily want to make it a cabin that I want to stay in, but it would be storage. Put a roof on it, it'd be great storage. I know a lot of you guys have ideas about the bunker. I so appreciate your enthusiasm. So you never know. I don't know what we'll do with it. We'll see. At very least it's cleaned up and that needed to happen. It definitely needed to happen. Come on, baby. There you go, boy. There you go. Oh, you can see the world. 
Now you can see the whole world. You're so much taller. There you go, boy. Take a look. Let's see what we got. I'm sure it's done. Man, does that look amazing. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this awesome catch. <laughs> it was so fun. Moose in the boat was just amazing. And it was just the most beautiful day and the hard work pays off. And I'm just so thankful for all your blessings. You, I, I, I'm so humbled. Pray for those watching and uh, comfort them, give them strength and hope and love. And I thank you for this food, Lord. It's amazing. Thank you for this land. In Jesus' name, amen. Now this is going to be something. So I'm gonna give you the first bite. It is just so tender. And a little piece of that salsa on there. You ready? Open up. Here it comes. First bite of trout. All right, here we go. That is literally like gourmet. Like you'd go to a restaurant and you'd pay big bucks for this. I've never tried it with the salsa. Oh, it's so, so good. Oh, I really, we need, we need smell of vision and taste of vision because that is incredible. And the salsa, oh man, I'm definitely doing that again. Wow. Mm. Got your bowl. Help catch it. See if you like trout. Come here. Come here. Right here. See if you like trout. Actually, this side could be cooked a little better. Mm. Oh, you got a scooter on your nose. So good. You're not going to eat the fish? Are you crazy? All right, that's the last of it right there. So good. Mm. Alright, for dessert, I've been reading uh, one, one Man's Wilderness again. You guys know this. Dick Prennicky. You know Dick Prennicky. He built the uh, awesome cabin, Twin Lakes in Alaska. Uh, back in 68, just an amazing craftsmanship uh, build. And like, One Man's Wilderness is a documentary too, so if you've never watched it, you just need to watch it. But. Um, kind of revisiting his book again. This is like the 50th anniversary edition. So there's like extra pictures and stuff in it. So I bought the new one. Anyway, Dick Prennicky. He, he used to have this thing called uh, bush uh, blueberries with bush cream because, you know, he didn't have a refrigerator. So he would take blueberries and then add sugar 
Well, let me just show you the recipe. Since he didn't have a refrigerator, he would, he would use what he had to make a cream for his blueberries. So he called it bush cream with blueberries. So um, some sugar. And then just like powdered coffee creamer. And then some instant non-fat dry milk. And then add some water. Now you add your blueberries. I picked these the other night going up the hill on my walk. And you stir in your blueberries. So I've had this a few times this summer. I've really started enjoying it. It's just, it's like blueberry milk. Just that little bit of cream flavor on your blueberries. I mean, look at that. That, that is good stuff. It, it really is. Bush cream on blueberries. That's, that's how Dick Prennicky liked, the, liked to eat his blueberries the best. It's just simple, but when you're by a campfire in the middle of nowhere, it tastes pretty good. You guys want a bite? You want a bite? Here you go. Open up. Tell me what you think. Oh yeah. That was pretty good. Oh, it is a beautiful evening now. If you're wondering where Moose is, he's in the truck. He's like Maisie. When the day's done, they're like, I'm out, Mom. I'm not hanging out with you anymore. <laughs> Got it all lit up. Look at that. All cozy. You in there, buddy? Oh, there's a good moosey boy. You want your blankie? That's a good boy. You ready for bed? Yeah. Mm, we'll get all cozy. Ready for that sleeping bag, buddy. You gotta scooch over.
This guy's a bad hog. He is in the middle, and I am squished to the edge. <laughs> Did you see good buddy? Oh, yeah. So tired. It's going to be a beautiful day. Look at that out there. It's just beautiful. Just beautiful. How's it look out there, buddy? Nice day. <sighs> Hello, world. It's gonna be a good day. <sighs> there he goes. <laughs> Getting a squirrel. There we go. Good morning. Oh, wow. It's going to be a beauty. There <clears throat> goes Moose. Done. So I've got my favorite coffee, Alaska Coffee Roasting Company, and I know a lot of you guys have said, you don't drink coffee? I don't drink caffeine, so this is a decaf, but it is like the, the best decaf. It was a beautiful sight this morning. We got blue sky, a little bit of clouds, but it's gonna be a beauty. I got this in Valdez. Lady had made these and was selling them on the little street fair. Thought it was so cool. Ah, uh -uh, that looked good hanging from my truck. <laughs> Perfect. What are you doing? You having fun? I'm chasing the squirrels. Here you go, buddy. Get your brekkie fist. Oh yeah, that's some good stuff right there. Oh, just leave the squirrel be. Just eat your breakfast. Come and eat your breakfast. <laughs> nope, he gone. Yeah, we're good. Well, that's a wrap on this property for this year. Big plans next year, hopefully. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Just go in the woods. She gone. Oh, don't forget to get outside and get happy.